What's going on guys? Welcome to Controllers Down, the show where we stray away from the realm of games and anime and just talk about the things that we feel like talking about. I'm Demothy. I'm Anna. Fernando. And you guys are here today to talk about dreams. Because people have weird dreams. I know you did. You have a list. Yeah. But we're not starting with you. We're going to start with Fernando this time. Um, what weird dreams have you had, Mr. Bearded Guy? Not really sure. I mean, most of the dreams I had is where I thought going to school, I'm late, and then when I wake up, I'm in the house. But so exciting. Oh, I, I, that's one dream I got. Well, this is a dream where I'm in a playground, right? Mm -hmm. And this is one teacher that drives me nuts since elementary to middle school. Don't know why she came over middle school, but she came. Anyways. Wait, so she, she went from elementary school, and then she started teaching at your middle school? She, yeah. She was just following you. She's stalking you, man. Yeah. Oh, she's, right. just, she's just there <laughs> to like mess with you. Yeah. Yeah, so I was kind of good at doing handstands, like upside down, right? Right. So I want to do it, and then the teacher called me and said, hey, don't do it because you will get hurt and all. So I didn't listen to her, so I did. And when, no, no, everything I have seen upside down, some people falling down uh -huh. in the sky. People are falling from the sky <laughs> yeah. because you were doing handstands? Uh-huh. And I'm afraid to go down because I might fall as well. So I was thinking <laughs> this way. Well, people are falling way out of the sky to space. Oh, well then. Oh, and well. the only thing I could do is just walk where the moon is. <laughs> right. So I let go and I fly down to the moon. That's an interesting dream. <laughs> and well. all of a sudden I just walk around. Started to jump. There was a basketball court, so I shoot some hoops. That's it. So it's just like all this stuff happened, and you're just like, okay, let's go play basketball. No, someone dropped the basketball while I was falling down, and ah. the hoop <laughs> <laughs> completely fell down. Just dunk it while you're falling. <laughs> Any other dreams you have had? Um, some nightmares where zombie attacks or a killer chainsaw fell after me. It's all those horror movies. Yeah, Freddy, Jason come after me. Um, Freddy and Jason? Yeah, not together, just separate. Oh, uh, okay. okay. They're just <laughs> going at you at the same time? Just separate at okay. different dreams. Right. Um, then, I don't know, some ghost come out to me saying, hey, don't forget to whatever at that day. <laughs> what? You know, like, <laughs> something like, hey, remember to thank your parents by something, or hey, don't forget to... <laughs> what a thoughtful ghost. <laughs> ghost is giving you life advice. Yeah. That's a, that's a nice Always ghost. Always brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to stay in school. Uh-huh. It's uh, your subconscious telling you stay in school. Yeah. And other dreams is just, I went to hell. Well. On that note, <laughs> let's move over to you, Anna, because you have the list. Um, well, I don't know where to start. Seriously, where should I start? Anywhere. Okay. Um, I think, like, my first nightmare, I, I have, when I get nightmares, I don't really get scared, but mm -hmm. I've had two nightmares in my whole life that have actually, that have actually scared me. One was when I was, like, five years old. Do you guys remember all that? Yeah. No. All that the show on. Oh, oh okay, okay. Okay, so Kyle Sullivan, do you remember? He was a curly haired nerd guy with glasses. I'm not good on with the names. Show. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm not either, but he, curly haired nerd guy with, on right. the show. Okay, so I was at my grandma, in, in the dream, I'm, okay, I'm five years old. I'm at my grandma's apartment, and that guy is there, and he's like this frog person. I don't know. Frog person? I don't know. It was the weirdest dream ever. And he was literally just like hopping and chasing me around my grandma's <laughs> apartment. That was the scariest dream of my life. I woke up, I cried, I went to my mom. It was, it was my, the most terrifying thing ever. My biggest fear is frog people chasing me around while hopping. It's, it's pretty disturbing. <laughs> what else? Um, okay, so I, I, have, I suffer from sleep paralysis. So mm -hmm. basically, when I um, wake up, I'm still hallucinating and my body is paralyzed and right. I can't move and I can't like scream. So one time I was having, this was like two or three years ago, um, I, was, I had this dream. I don't know what was going on. There was like the devil. He was trying to possess me, and I woke up, right? Uh -huh. And I'm I'm paralyzed, and I'm still hallucinating, and I'm hearing like 
this like manic, like evil laughter all around me. And I get the wind knocked out of me. So it feels like, you know, something's like punching you or something. Punching me. Yeah. And I'm trying to scream and I can't. And it's the most terrifying thing, not being able to scream or talk right, right. when you really want to. And I don't know. So I somehow like woke up, like my body woke up and it was so terrifying. And that same night, I got up, you know, I went to the bathroom, like washed my face and everything. Mm -hmm. When I went, tried to go back to sleep, I fell into sleep paralysis two more times that night. Right. And it was so, it was just so terrifying for like, I think it was like summer vacation. Mm -hmm. So for two weeks, I did not sleep at night and I, mm -hmm. I would stay up all night and um, I wouldn't go to bed until like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Right. Because I was just so afraid that I was going to, you know, that was going to happen again. That reminds me of uh, one time I, I woke up in my bed one time and it was the weirdest thing ever because it wasn't really like sleep paralysis because it wasn't ter like a terrifying experience or anything. But it was like the oddest thing because it was kind of like I was half asleep but outside of my body. And I, had, I, I didn't know who I was. <laughs> I didn't understand logic or right. anything. Like I wasn't really thinking about anything it was just the weirdest experience because it was kind of like I was looking down at myself without mm -hmm. at my brain um, like I was a vegetable or something and it was I thought it was a dream <laughs> but it wasn't really a dream because I don't remember actually waking up afterwards but I was awake out-of-body experience that's that's what one of my friends said like I had like an out-of-body experience or something but it was the weirdest thing ever I had no idea what was going on but um you have like a whole list what else do you have um I mean not all my sleep paralysis things like those those are the only two times I've ever had been scared right um I've had other like sleep paralysis things happen to me but I just like I don't really care like I don't mm -hmm. it doesn't freak me out or anything I just like go back to sleep yeah so like one time I was sleeping and um, my closet is to the left of me and I was sleeping toward, facing towards the closet and I woke up and I can't move. And there was this like rag doll, like just sitting on my hangers and on my clothes oh, and, and like, just like it, it, it swinging. It looked like it was staring at you It was staring at me and like swinging. Oh, and I'm God. just like, oh, cool. Okay, just went back to sleep. It was cool. <laughs> it was fine. Everything was chill. I'm like, I, I, I usually know when I'm asleep and mm -hmm. when I'm not. So, yeah. Um, I've looked at my closet really late at night once uh, before, and I have a lot of stuffed animals in there <laughs> and with, with the beady eyes and everything, and it scared me a few times. When I was little, um, I made my mom take, my mom told me this when I, I told her about that one dream with the rag doll in my closet. Mm -hmm. So she was like, oh, that reminds me, when you were little, you made me take all the pictures in your room out. I, you made me take all the dolls and stuffed <laughs> animals out because you told me they would watch you while you sleep. I'm like, whoa, that's very like comforting to know. That's like straight up horror movie stuff. <laughs> they watch me while I sleep. <laughs> and you don't remember? I don't remember that. You don't remember that, huh? My, uh, my mom's had like weird recurring dreams before. Like, um, and, and this is really weird. Like when my mom uh, was pregnant with me, uh, she said she would have these dreams about like snakes coiling around her and like, you know, like squeezing mm -hmm. her and stuff. And then ever since I was born, apparently every house we've moved to has had like a snake problem. And I wasn't like afraid of snakes or anything. And so I would go up to snakes and just kind of play with them. And my dad. Some Harry Potter yeah, shit. And, yeah. <laughs> and, and like each time we'd move to a new place, she'd have like the dream again. And then snakes happen the next day or whatever. It's, it's kind of weird. And there was this one time I was playing with a snake and my dad saw me. And he's freaked out and took an axe and <laughs> chopped the snake in half. And I got really sad after. I was like, you <laughs> killed my friend. But yeah, I have had quite a few weird dreams myself. Um, I used to have a lot of nightmares when I was a kid. And one of them, this one really stuck with me. Like, there were two dreams that stuck with me when I was a kid. Well, kind of nightmares that stuck with me when I was a kid. And one, I was on this platform in space. It was kind of like Final Destination from Smash Bros, but like Smash Bros never happened yet. Um, and I was, I was there on this platform in space and I was running and there was a gigantic praying mantis there. And the praying mantis picks me up 
and starts eating my stomach. <laughs> and it was weird because I actually kind of felt it when I woke up. Like my stomach kind of hurt after, but it was just like the whole dream thing. I was thinking about him. So, and then there was another game. Game. <laughs> it, it was it was a dream that was kind of like a game, and I was in this dream, and I'm going. I, I'm like going to all these different like dream worlds or whatever and each time it was kind of different and it was like all scary and stuff because a lot of those things was like things trying to kill me uh, sounds like a good time <laughs> yeah um and at the end i got shot in the face and it just said game over <laughs> <laughs> and like i cried after that one because it kind of freaked me out um what else there was another one it was in my head and i forgot about it but, oh, so all my friends, they've had dreams about me. And in each one, I think I told you about this before, each time my friends have a dream about me, I'm, a, I'm an addict <laughs> of something, like crack addict, heroin addict. You are a crack addict. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no. Um, and one of them dreamt that I was addicted to masturbating. <laughs> it, that you are. No? No. Okay. I mean, it's, it's a guy thing. <laughs> but yeah, so each of them have had a dream about me being addicted to something. And I myself had a dream about me being addicted to meth. And I was like in front of my school and I went across the street to the, the, uh, the, the middle school. Well, this was when I was in high school. So yeah, I was across the street at the middle school. And I was doing, I was there doing meth. And like these people just come and like sell me more meth. <laughs> So yeah, I was like, I, I, I myself dreamt that I was addicted to meth. Okay, this might be a sign. Be uh, worried. In the future, I'm gonna be addicted to something, some, something bad. Or everything. Everything. I'm gonna, <laughs> all the stuff, everything that's been in people's dreams, just addicted to it all. But yeah. Um, no, I, watch it be like the weirdest thing, like something like on My Strange Addictions, like you're gonna be addicted to eating drywall or something. <laughs> drywall? That's. <laughs> kind of, I feel like that would kill me. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of these addictions. I, I think, I think there was someone on on that show that was addicted to eating drywall. Really? There was someone that was addicted to eating their husband's ashes. I saw that one. That was the weirdest one ever. <laughs> I did see that one. Um, yeah, a lot of people have really weird addictions. Watch out! I don't want to see you on my strange addictions in a few years. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be sure to keep keep an eye on that. And on that note, we're going to end this episode of Controllers Down. And if you want to check out more of our stuff, you can go to our website at next-gennation.com and subscribe to us on YouTube here. And we'll catch you guys next time.